the dead Halo game that everybody hated, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. And that is right, I am the only person in the world playing the original version of this game, as you can't even get it off the Xbox store anymore, you can only buy it for the Master Chief Collection. So I went and picked it up for $12. It was like the only copy in Australia I could find. And that's what we're talking about today. Now, when this was first announced over 10 years ago at E3 2011, people were very excited at the concept of a remaster of Halo Combat Evolved. However, many people could tell right away something wasn't right. Master Chief's model in the trailer looked horrible. And while the November 15th release saw some improvements in this area, it was still very far away from what people actually expected for a remaster, especially for one of the most influential first-person shooters of all time. Now, Halo Reach had only come out one year earlier, and it's very obvious that 343 felt like making a fully remastered multiplayer would separate the Halo Reach and Combat Evolved Anniversary populations too much. This meant the decision was made, and also probably to save time, to create Halo Reach Anniversary. Running on the Reach engine, it was modified, with settings by the way, that aren't to this day available without modding, so that the original Halo Reach pistol was made into a three-shot kill. This was to emulate the original Halo Combat Evolved multiplayer, but aside from that, it really didn't feel like the game at all. Halo Reach Anniversary was created by 343 Industries and Certain Affinity, and many were disappointed that so many mechanics of the original Halo Combat Evolved game were straight up removed for the Halo Reach port of the multiplayer. The maps themselves look great, six classic remade maps and Installation 04 as a firefight map. Unfortunately, outside of looking good, they really didn't feel like the original game at all. No weapon launching, none of the same same sandbox outside of the original pistol, barely anything of what made the original game popular, and to many, that was very disappointing. Now as I said, I will give credit to the Halo Reach Anniversary maps, they look beautiful. I particularly love Timberland and Prisoner, and when the Anniversary playlist did come out, I played a lot of it. As a standalone Halo Reach playlist, that's great, but for an actual remaster of the game, and I guess this came down to time constraints, really not so good. I would have preferred a full multiplayer remaster, but from all accounts I could find, time constraints were a massive issue with this project. The year after this, Halo 4 came out. So you had 2010 Halo Reach, 2011 Combat Evolved Anniversary, 2012 Halo 4, and then the Master Chief Collection came out after that. In many ways, this game did not live up to the expectations set of it, and this is especially the case with the campaign. Now the campaign was created by Saber Interactive, and we have a lot to talk about. The Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary campaign, to many people, destroyed the original atmosphere the games created. This is mainly a point in the second half of the game, with Bungie implementing almost horror-like themes for the introduction of the Flood. The anniversary version completely removed this, making it very bright, very shiny, and to make matters worse, the overall geometry of Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary was completely broken. The anniversary graphics seemed to be like Frankenstein over the original quality, and in many cases the geometry wouldn't line up, and you could walk through the anniversary walls, change back to classic, and see that you actually weren't in the wall at all. This is because Saber Interactive actually ran both games at once, one overlaid on top of the other, so from a technical standpoint, running two games at once on old hardware is quite good, but the geometry really did need to line up if you are going to do a remaster of the game. Now Halo Combat Evolved originally has a very strong identity. This extends especially to the enemies. The elites in Halo Combat Evolved are iconic. The art style, at least for me personally, is one of my favorite Halo games. Now Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary completely replaced the original elite models with their Reach counterparts. This also includes many weapons, many friendly allies, and even geometry pieces. Again, comes down to time constraints. This annoyed me a lot, as it completely destroyed the original low poly look of the elites. It's a completely different model, and even when I look at the idle animations, the Reach model doesn't really fit with the original Combat Evolved ones, as the elite's head does this funny movement that just looks out of place. As I mentioned before, the weapons are exactly the same. Many Halo Reach models were used for Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. On screen are the weapons and their models. Really, only the Combat Evolved pistol and the assault rifle have unique models. Every other gun that is in Halo Halo Reach uses the Halo Reach model. The big one for me is the plasma pistol. In Halo Reach, it really isn't good, but then you can pick it up on Legendary in the Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary campaign, and all of a sudden, it's amazing. My brain doesn't compute that, feels very weird, but I can pepper fire it and actually does damage, and then I'll go play Halo Reach, 
and it does absolutely nothing. Again, it comes down to time constraints, but for a remaster of a game that seemingly changed the landscape of the first person shooter genre, I think more care should have been taken. Now, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary is actually a variation of the Gearbox port of the game. Gearbox released Halo Combat Evolved on PC in 2003, two years after the initial release of Halo Combat Evolved. Unfortunately, many visual fidelity issues were created with this version of the game, bump mapping particularly. This meant certain textures and floor pieces actually looked much worse than their original Xbox counterparts, an issue by the way that is fixed on the Master Chief Collection today. This meant that the anniversary version of the game, when you swap back to classic, also had numerous issues, and many fans noticed it looked significantly worse than the original in terms of these graphics. In case you are wondering what the original Halo Combat Evolved looks like, I powered up my original Xbox, set up my entire setup, and on screen here is the 2001 version of Halo Combat Evolved. It was very disappointing that in almost every aspect, the remastered game didn't match up to the original, either in aesthetic, atmosphere, multiplayer gameplay, and while there were some redeeming features that I even liked myself, that led to a lot of disappointment for the Halo fans. Too many, it was their childhood game they loved, and the fact that it was almost unrecognizable in many ways led to people despising the remaster. As I said before, today you can't buy Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary from the Xbox Series X shop as it's understandably in the market. Master Chief Collection in much higher quality. When I went out to buy the only copy I could find in Australia, I did that because I wanted to show off the menus. One of the original things they actually kept in that is removed from the Master Chief Collection is the iconic loading screen with the Halo ring. Peak nostalgia for when I was a kid, and I'm very happy they left it in. I also don't mind the menus too much. The Skulls menu looks good, and the overall main menu isn't all that bad. I do prefer the original Halo CE logo over the anniversary abomination on screen, but the ring and the main menu floating through space looks pretty good. And speaking of the main menu, a quality of life feature I actually really really like is in the main menu itself, if you press the back button, it will actually swap between the two graphics, classic and remastered. It's cool that you can swap in game, they didn't have to make the main menu the same way, it's really cool that they did. This brings me to something I actually really enjoyed about the anniversary version, but like everything else I've mentioned, the original game was much better. And this was the soundtrack. Halo's soundtrack is iconic, and I especially love Halo Combat Evolves. The reason why I said I enjoy the anniversaries is some of the tracks are really fun to listen to. They're slightly changed, but are still very faithful to their originals, and I like that. Others, however, are completely different, and for me, really ruin the song. Here's a classic track I loved, and the terrible anniversary version that I really don't like. As you can see, it's completely different. Another thing I really liked, and it was a nice little touch by 343, is the terminals giving the backstory to how 343 Guilty Spark ended up on the Halo ring. Terminals are a great addition to the Halo story, as it gives you more context on what's happening in the broader universe. I thought I would include this very quickly, as I really enjoy these set of videos. They give a whole lot more context to the broader story that is happening. Ultimately, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary was great in theory, and the key word being here is in theory. The execution did not live up to the expectations of the fans, and it's the reason to this day that many players prefer the classic version to the anniversary version of the game. It has been over 20 years now, so maybe we need Halo Anniversary Anniversary. With that being said, having two separate games running on top of one another is a technical feat that deserves props, so Sabre Interactive did a good job in that regard, and it's an achievement that should not be understated. But what did you think? If you had to rate Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, what would you rate it out of 10? 
What do you like? What do you hate? I have been meaning to do this video for a while, as I am a huge Halo Combat Evolved fan, so let me know what you think down in the comments. With that said, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.